Most of the thyroid hormone that's present in circulation is bound to protein. Less than one-tenth of one percent of circulating thyroid hormone is free or active. When we measure total thyroid hormone, we're measuring both the bound thyroid hormone as well as the free thyroid hormone. Most assays for measuring total thyroid hormone are competitive immunoassays. In these assays, we have a radio-labeled thyroid hormone analog that's bound to an antibody-coated plate. The patient sample is added, and the patient's thyroid hormone will displace the radio-labeled analogs. The sample is then washed, and the displaced analog is rinsed away, leaving the bound analog to be measured. So let's look at a few examples of how this works for our patients. So let's say we have a patient with high thyroid hormone levels. This thyroid hormone is going to displace most of the bound analog, which is then going to be rinsed away, leaving a very low signal. Conversely, a patient with low thyroid hormone levels will only displace a few of the radio-labeled analogs. Those will be washed away, leaving a high signal. This signal is measured, and from that result, we're able to calculate the amount of total thyroid hormone that was present in the original sample, and that is the result that is reported out to you. T3 and T4 are both present in circulation, and both can be measured using total thyroid hormone assays. However, T3 is present at five to tenfold lower levels than T4, so measuring this is more technically challenging. While total thyroid hormone assays are usually a fairly good reflection of the amount of free or active thyroid hormone present in the circulation, there are some situations where they are not accurate. Sometimes the amount of bound thyroid hormone will be higher, but the amount of free thyroid hormone will remain the same. So in that case, you would have an increase in your total thyroid hormone level but your active thyroid hormone levels would remain unchanged. So total thyroid hormone assays are rarely used as standalone measurements of thyroid function. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how MetMastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About MetMastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.